All right, guys, so now we're able to search an artist. We're able to get the artist page along with a list of albums with a button. Now what we want to do is make that button go to an album component. That's going to give us a list of tracks and some information. So what we're going to do first is let's create, let's go into our service, and we need one more function here to get a specific album. So we actually want to add another property up here called album URL, album being singular. And then down here, let's copy this. And that's going to be just get album. And that's going to take in an ID. This will be the actual album ID. And let's take off the S here. And then this URL, we're going to change this to V1 slash yeah v1 slash albums slash and then we'll add on that id all right and then we'll just change this to album url and that should be good so we'll save that and now what we need to do is create in the components folder another folder called album and there we're going to create a file called album dot components dot ts and then we also want the HTML. All right, now let's just copy what we have in one of these. Let's say the about component. We just want that. Okay, and then we're just going to change this to album. Okay. Now we're doing the same type of thing that we did with our artist page uh, where we're using the router, this activated route. So let's go ahead and copy that. We also need the router directives and the service. I'm just going to copy this whole thing actually. And then inside the album component, paste it in. And let's add the router directives. Okay, and let's see what else we need here. Okay, so we're going to need this constructor, an ID. We're not going to need the artist, but I'm just going to copy this. Paste that in. Okay, we don't need that. And then this will just be album singular. Okay, Spotify service is being injected, activated route is being injected. And then we can probably just grab the rest of it in artist, this ng on init. Okay, paste that in. And then let's see, we're going to map, subscribe, ID. Get rid of that second one, we don't need that. And then this is going to be Spotify service gets album. Okay, we're passing in the ID. Subscribe, let's say album. All right. So let's save that and then we're going to go into some other files. Let's go to our main app component and we're just going to bring in the album component here. Let's see, we don't have the artist component here either. We should bring that in. All right. So we're going to need a route. So let's go to our app.routes file. And let's see, we'll copy this. Change that to album. OK. 
Okay, we're gonna have to bring that in up here. Save that. And then let's go to our artist HTML and go down to where we have the link to the album details. And let's see, we're going to say router link equals, uh, let's see, what are we putting here? Slash album slash, and then we need the ID. So we're going to say, uh, let's see, how do we get the album ID? Just album.id, I believe. And that should do it. We might have a little debugging to do. Now, since we're using the we're using a router link here in the artist component, that means that in the TS file we have to oh we already did it. Never mind. We already have the router directives. So let's see where we're at at this point. Open up the console and let's say Aerosmith. And if we click on one of those, it takes us to album slash and then the ID. So that's working. Uh, well, I don't think we have anything in the HTML. No, we don't. All right, so let's add some stuff here. Let's put a div and let's give it an ID of album. And also we're going to do an ng if just to make sure that there actually is an album. All right, let's put in a header, give it a class of album header. This is going to be pretty similar to the artist header that we created. And then let's do a div class equals row Okay, and in here we're going to have two columns. We're going to do a four column and let's also do an eight column. All right, so in the four column we're going to have um, the album image so we're gonna have to check for that I'm actually gonna paste some of this in just to save a little on time same thing we've been doing we're checking to see if the album images length is greater than zero if it is we're gonna spit out an image you can see album images zero URL and then in the eight column div we're gonna have a couple things Let me just paste that in and make this bigger so basically what we're doing here <clears throat> is we have an H4 and this is going to be the album artist and the way it the way it gives it to us is in an array so that's why we're testing to see for the length and then we're just doing a for loop to loop through the artist which in most cases will be just one just one artist and then we'll have the name we're going to have the actual album name and then the release date all right, and under that we have a link that's going to go to the actual Spotify page, and you can use this external URLs dot Spotify. All right, so let's go ahead and save that, and then go back to localhost three thousand, and do a search Aerosmith. Let's say this album here, and there we go. If we click View in Spotify that takes us to the actual Spotify page alright good so we also want to list the tracks so we want to go down under the header and let's put a div and give it a class of album tracks and let's put an h2 album tracks and under that, we're going to do an ng4. 
and we want to set this to uh, let track of album dot tracks dot items. Okay, so this is going to loop through the tracks, and then let's put a div with the class of well. All right, and in here we'll have an H5. And I want to put the track number first. So this will be track dot uh, track underscore number. And then a dash, and then we'll put the track name. Now we can ev even have a preview link where we can preview the track. So let's put a link here and that is going to go to track dot preview underscore URL and let's set that target to be underscore blank so it opens up in a new page and then in here we'll just say preview track all right, so let's also make the, the Spotify link go on another page as well. So we'll just paste in target. All right, let's check it out. Click on album details, and there we go. You can see we have a list of all the tracks. If we click preview track, opens up in another page and starts to play. And I don't have the volume up right now, so we get that close that up all right so everything seems to be working correctly now for the about page I just want to add a little bit of content to that so let's go to the HTML for that and I'm just gonna paste this in just some text we have a, the title the version number and then just a quick description of the app all right let's save that and there we go okay so we are done so this is a pretty useful application. You search music on Spotify, you can open it right up in Spotify. You can preview tracks, so it's pretty useful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next project.